Jim Imholt from Mason, Ohio. Uh, Jim, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Does traveling with the bra on my Class A motorhome help at all? Uh, I've heard pros and cons about using the bra while traveling on the road. I've seen motorhomes with and without them while going down the road. What do I think? Well, uh, I agree there are pros and cons, Jim, to doing it. Uh, personally, I don't think I would use one on my coach from the simple fact that the abrasion that takes place, the rubbing of the fabric or the material, even though it's a, got a protective liner on the inside, over time is going to affect the surface of the front of that RV. And a lot of it depends on which type of surface on, is on the front of the RV. Is it a plastic cap? Is it fiberglass? Is it metallic? Is it aluminum? So a lot of this depends. You don't want to wear away the, pi the paint or the graphics. Uh, so I'm more of a, in favor of the clear, the clear coat that can be put on there. Uh, and peeled off whenever there, it, it gets dirty so you don't have to constantly wash it. You just simply replace it every time. I don't have a brand name for you. I wish I did, but uh, I'm, I'm a more big, bigger fan of that. But again, there are pros and cons, and you can't go just one, by one guy's opinion. But get some other opinion. I'd ask, if you see them in the campground, I'd ask them what they like about it, what they don't like. To me, I, I did have a bra on a, on a vehicle that I towed behind a motorhome uh, for a lot of years, and what I found out on the towed vehicle I had the bra on that to, to protect it from anything kicked up by the coach. I found that it faded the paint. In other words, the, the, the wear of the, the bra stayed on the car all the time and uh, wasn't a temporary thing. And basically it caused a finished difference between that portion of the car and the rest of the car. So again, pros and cons, uh, every, and everybody will have an opinion on it.